Rainer Maria Rilke's The Notebooks of Multi Lorids Brig is a profound exploration of existential anxiety and the search for meaning in a disorienting modern world. The novel, structured as a series of fragmented journal entries, offers a deeply introspective and often bleak portrait of the protagonist, Malti, a young Danish nobleman residing in Paris. Through Malti's observations and reflections, Rilke delves into themes of identity, memory, death, and the struggle for authentic existence. Malti's experiences in Paris are depicted with a sense of alienation and disconnection. The city, vibrant and chaotic, serves as a backdrop that amplifies his feelings of isolation. Rilke's Paris is not the romanticized city of lights but a place of decay and morbidity, filled with unsettling encounters and disturbing sights. This setting underscores the existential dread that permeates Malti's thoughts. His acute observations of the people and the environment around him reveal a world in which individuals are estranged from one another and from themselves, highlighting the pervasive sense of fragmentation in modern life. Central to the narrative is Malti's preoccupation with death and the passage of time. He reflects on his own mortality and the inevitability of death, which he perceives as an omnipresent force. The novel's fragmented structure, with its abrupt shifts in time and perspective, mirrors the disjointed nature of Malti's inner life. His recollections of his childhood in Denmark, his family history, and his meditations on death and suffering are interwoven in a way that blurs the boundaries between past and present, reality and imagination. This narrative technique emphasizes the fluidity of time and memory, and the difficulty of finding coherence and meaning in one's life. Malti's introspection is marked by a quest for authenticity and self-understanding. He grapples with the limitations of language and art as means of expressing his inner experiences. Rilke, himself a poet, uses poetic language and imagery to convey Malti's complex emotional states and existential musings. The novel is rich with metaphors and symbolic imagery that reflect Malti's inner turmoil in his search for a deeper truth. For instance, the recurring imagery of masks and faces symbolizes the multiplicity of identities and the difficulty of discerning one's true self in a world of facades and illusions. The theme of memory plays a crucial role in Malti's self-exploration. His recollections are not mere nostalgic yearnings for the past but are deeply entwined with his present existential crisis. The memories of his aristocratic family's decline and the haunting presence of his ancestors reflect his struggle with inherited legacies and the weight of history. These memories are depicted in vivid, often disturbing detail, highlighting the impact of the past on Malti's psyche and his sense of self. Rilke also examines the relationship between suffering and creativity in the novel. Malti's suffering is not only a source of anguish but also a catalyst for artistic expression. His reflections on the lives of historical and mythical figures, such as Christ and Orpheus, suggest a belief in the transformative power of suffering. This idea is echoed in Malti's own writing which becomes a means of confronting and transcending his existential pain. Through his notebooks, Malti seeks to articulate his innermost thoughts and emotions, to make sense of his fragmented existence, and to achieve a form of spiritual and artistic redemption. The Notebooks of Malti Lorid's Brig is a profoundly introspective work that captures the complexities of the human condition. Rilke's exploration of existential themes through the fragmented and poetic narrative of Malti's notebooks challenges readers to confront their own anxieties and questions about life, death, and identity. The novel's enduring relevance lies in its ability to evoke the universal human struggle for meaning in a world that often seems indifferent and chaotic. Through Malti's journey, Rilke invites readers to engage in a deeper contemplation of their own existence and the mysteries that lie within.